Well, should we go for the first question? Um, so we're going to go to uh, Carol, who's currently in Manchester. Hello. 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 Would you like to go with your first question? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, hi, Tim. Hi. Um, as a young artist, a uh, painter, is uh, seriously thinking about artist career, uh, many times I came across a statement that to be a successful artist, I uh, have to be, let's say, everywhere, uh, appear in any form of uh, social media uh, to kind of create the name, the brand. Uh, then I always question myself if such a materialistic commercial, uh, let's say, dealing with my own art practice will not downgrade the artistic value of it. What do you think about it? Well, I think the notion that everything is reduced to the brand is a contemporary fallacy. I think one of the great things about art is it can step outside of that culture if it wants to, or it can immerse itself in it and critique it. So the first question is, what do you feel happiest doing? If you feel that the whole idea about putting yourself out there in the public domain violates your own personal integrity, absolutely you shouldn't do it. With the first duty, the only duty you have as an artist is to yourself. You have no duty to anyone else. Um, you have no responsibility to anyone else um, as, a, as a creative individual. I mean, it's very easy for someone like me to say, be true to yourself, but I'm afraid cliche is often both the truth. That's what one needs to do. I think the idea that there is a pressure, that you, you feel a pressure to be out there the whole time, you need to use social media and stuff. That's an interesting thing to detach yourself from and see how much you can use the momentum of that and the reality of that and the perceived fear of that and actually use it as, as, as some kind of creative energy in what you do. In other words, critique it or play with it, but never feel enslaved by it. I mean, I think a number of you are going to have conversations about the professionalization of art and how one makes it an artist, but there is something very important to say at the beginning is that no one. No one has a right to a full and successful career as an artist. It's just something that we all try and aspire to. And the, the most important thing you can do, if you want to be an artist, the first thing you need to do is find the time and space to do that. And if that means you have to do other jobs, so be it. Um, and I'd like to be a very successful sportsman. I was neither good enough, and I wasn't committed enough, and I didn't put the time in. Um, but I've never felt it was a right of mine to be able to spend all my life pursuing that which I'd like to pursue. And I think that's an interesting thing with arts, because I think there is a slight cultural there's a slight cultural fallacy that if we want to do something, we have the right to do it. We actually have to make it happen. And the only way of making it happen is by following the compulsions that we want as individuals. And that's the essence of doing it with artists. The rest is cultural fluff of the idea. Decided to play with all of it. 